The wine bar opening up in Northwest Bakersfield. Josh, I'm very curious. Good morning. Yeah, yeah, Rob, this is one classy joint. You know, whenever there's a new opening of, of some new restaurant in town, we got to come check it out. Their grand opening here at Crush Wine Bar is this Saturday. They've rolled out the red carpet. They have a beautiful Italian chandelier they put together. And there's a lot to offer here at this place from what it seems like. Pedro Guerra here is with me, the general manager. Pedro, one thing that really sets you guys apart is you guys have a, a what's called a vino tech. Correct. And, and I've only seen one of these one other time, but uh, you have gone all out here. Describe the types of wines you have available just at this section of, of your restaurant alone. Well, what we did for this particular section is we wanted to put a focus on 24 different wines that you can taste. Okay. And these machines are fantastic in that they do eight each. One of them is a refrigerated unit that keeps our white wines cold. Okay. The others are reds, and we focused from the low end red from the Pinot to the strong end red with a lot of body in the Cabernet Sauvignon. And, and I've noticed, uh, not, to, not to keep this, I guess uh, the right word is maybe, maybe uh, I don't know, I don't want to say generic, but, but just by doing a quick glance, you can get glasses of, of uh, a wine for, for less than $5, or guys, there's a hundred dollar glass right here. <laughs> Describe what does it take to, to what, what sets apart some of these wines that are a hundred dollars a glass? Well, what's great about these particular wines is accolades. All these wines on here are 90 points or better in the Wine Spectator. I know it doesn't generally describe the wine, but yeah. it's an helpful tool to use this Wine Spectator. The Arajo specifically is a $600 a bottle of wine and has killed it point wise <laughs> and they've done a wonderful wonderful job with their Cabernet Sauvignon. Tell us about the grand opening this Saturday. Do people need to make reservations? How far in advance? What can they expect if they come on out? The reservations for Saturday are getting thin very quickly. Okay. So what they'll want to do is call myself as soon as possible to lock up a spot. The number 695-8018 is how you'll get a hold of the bar here itself and a reservation is going to be needed for Saturday we're hoping to see that that's not needed for the future. However, I highly suggest it always cool. when coming to a place like we have here at the Crush. Rob, I tell you what, if guys, if you are, if, if anyone's watching, uh, if anyone's watching, if you're at home watching right now, uh, you can come by. You can you not only do like a little wine taste, but we'll preview some of the menu coming up. This is actually a lounge area. We can literally come on by. You know, you can you can get the the five dollar glass of wine. You get the six hundred glass of wine. Do your little taste test. Come on over here. You can sit down. You can kick back. You can literally just lounge, hang out with friends, and just take it easy. Or you can uh, go all out and, and order from the menu up front. Again, we're just previewing. Uh, just for the, hitting the very tip of the iceberg, if you will. Rob, I'm going to toss it back to you for now. Yeah, hand me that menu, LJ. Very See cool, if I Josh. So, here. Josh. Uh, yeah. It's opening up on Saturday. Hmm. That's the grand opening. Have they been <laughs> open before, like a soft opening, or is? That, that's exactly what they've been doing. They've been uh, doing a soft opening the past couple of weeks and uh, prepping for the grand opening this Saturday where they will be going all out. And, and once again, uh, I'm really excited to see what's on their menu. They have any, everything from small plates to a few selection of some very specific entrees they'll be showing off very soon. All right, Josh, could be our new clubhouse over there. We'll That's check right. in with you in just a little bit. 720 <laughs> where he's live this morning, Josh. Tell us about it. That's right. Yeah, Rob, they're, they're having their grand opening on Saturday. You know, we're always really excited when a new business opens in Bakersfield, especially a new restaurant. It's where we get an upscale wine bar in Bakersfield, so we had to come check it out. Javi, uh, I almost called you Javi Guerra, <laughs> Pedro <laughs> Guerra. We just got to talk it off camera about how if he's related to Javi Guerra, the Dodgers pitcher. <laughs> Pedro, but listen, this is actually pretty neat. Not only, do, of course, do you have wine from all over, um, but you're you're a connoisseur yourself, and, and you've gone far and wide to make sure you have the best selection. On top of the best selection of wines, you also have a very unique menu as well. I'm not even sure where to start, but there, there's lots to offer here. Right, and one of the things that we wanted to focus on is to keep it very coastal in nature. Okay. A lot of the people in this town enjoy the coast, yep. so we wanted to relate to that. So a lot of our food is a coastal blend like the oyster ceviche that we see in front of us. A lot of the wines are coming from the Paso area which we consider local and a lot of people take so, the day so trip. So if you've gone, if you've gone, yeah, if you've taken the day trip to go out wine tasting, you could probably come back here and find it here as well. That is correct. One of the things that we wanted to make sure that people enjoyed is when they come back they got a taste 
of what they had experienced when they took that day trip on a Sunday or one of the weekends. So that when they came back middle of the week, sat down, they would feel familiar with the wines or the food that they were tasting. Kind of, kind of a throwback sure, to that sure. great day. Your grand opening on Saturday, what do you hope for? What we're hoping for on Saturday is not a single empty seat. I'd like to have people standing and enjoying what we're going to provide for everyone from the hors d'oeuvres to the glasses of champagne to the prizes which will cool. be given away. Okay, uh, Rob Amity, I have two items here. Which one should I try first? This is the oyster ceviche. It's got some cheese, some oysters, uh, cilantro, tomatoes. This is a pork belly with a fruit uh, uh, compote. Did I say that right? That's correct. Which one should I go for, guys? Josh, try the uh, try the ceviche. <laughs> yeah, That's, try the ceviche. Delicious. The yeah. ceviche. How do I how do I eat this, Pedro? Do, do I just like kind of because I, I just want the oyster. Yeah, grab a fork. Okay, okay. Stab it. Oh, so there's no shell in here. No, not. Oh, all. okay, okay. This makes it easier. Okay. Yeah. All right, I've never, I've never even heard of oyster ceviche, guys. Um, Pedro, this is gonna get a little messy. I apologize. I apologize in advance. Save you from the green stuff. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I feel you're gonna awkward like this, doing Josh. this on camera. Okay. Wow. <laughs> it's okay. Not a lot of oysters in uh, Arthur, Illinois, I imagine. <laughs> no, I've, I've had oyster, oysters once in my entire life, actually. Well, they're an aphrodisiac, Josh. So eat up. Mmm. They are. I'm not even kidding. They are. They are. Yeah. They have That's been, why I'm laughing. Yeah. They've been mm. found to be an aphrodisiac. It's very good. I don't. I don't feel very aphrodisiacal right well, it now. It takes a minute, Josh, for it to kick yeah. in. But. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll give it a few minutes. That's actually very good. I can't wait to try. I'm still trying to eat this. <laughs> it's, Is he doing all right? Is, are you doing all right there? I hope our viewers are just like, oh, brother. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I think Josh, what are you trying today? I feel like I have oysters all over my mouth. Oh, that that's already kicking that's in, That's actually Josh. very good. I can't wait to try the pork belly. Guys, I'm going to toss back to you at a time. But again, we're just getting started here at Crest Wine Bar. Come on out if you, if you have nothing else to do this Saturday. This is a, a great start to maybe, maybe a very fine weekend, guys. All right, Josh. Feel free to bring back that pork <laughs> as well. That's Josh Helmuth live at Crush in Northwest Bakersfield.